Hi and welcome to this video. Thank you for coming back again. If you're seeing this face for the first time, kindly comment something. Tell me that you're here for the first time. Anyway, if you've not subscribed, consider subscribing and joining this beautiful family so that we share in whatever we have in this channel. So today, I'm going to show you how I prepare my mandazis. So welcome, let us go on together. So as you can see, my main jiko or stove is busy preparing dinner. So that's why I'll go to this point in the middle of the kitchen. My ingredients, as you can see, are a bit mixed up. The flour is here, the sugar is there, but I'll just introduce them. So what goes into my mandazi is the mandazi. I like using the EXC mandazi flour, the one in a yellow packet if you're from Kenya. So this one is already mixed in with the baking powder. So I don't need to add any more baking powder into it. So I'll put... Uh, three cups of this into this basin. So before then, let me just show you the rest of the spices and the ingredients that are going in. So quickly, we'll put cardamom. Here it is. In Kiswahili, it's called iliki. I'll put some sugar to just sweeten our mandazi. The sugar is somewhat, it has some brown particles. I don't like it, but this is the kind we found while shopping. This is the cup I use for measuring today. This one, it is just a normal plastic kitchen cup. Uh, we'll put in some warm water. Of course, the water has to be comfortable to touch. And this is the oil I'll use to cook my mandazis. To fry my mandazis, not cook, to fry my mandazis. This is the spoon I'll use. And I want to introduce you to this pan. This pan is a new pan, a deep frying pan. I'm testing it for the first time tonight. So let us test it together. That cup is too full, so I'm reducing to just make the cup a good level. Two. The third cup is in. So into that, I will add sugar. This sugar is about uh, a third a glass. So I'll just add the whole of it in. And then our spice, cardamom, just a little bit like that. It is in. So I'll add this together before I add in any of the wet ingredients. So I want to allow in air, a lot of air as much as possible, just like that. So into this, I'll add a tablespoon of oil. That's our tablespoon right there so and i'll add in our water so i'll start with a cup and we'll add as we go so i first mixed in the oil very fast then the water three cups of flour is not a lot so I'm very careful not to 
put a lot of water i think if i add about a third a cup of water is enough So I'll now turn this to our table to help in kneading it some more. I'll add in just a little bit of flour like that and remove the excess dough. Hey, I'm doing so well, my people. I used to be confused with dough and duff, but now it is dough. So I'll do it until it's not touching our table. I'll keep removing because of the excess that is in my hands. Or maybe I'll wash my hands. Let me wash my hands. You check you will see that the door is not now touching the table that's the way I know it is ready so to avoid it from sticking on our bowl I'll put in some oil some little oil sorry just a little bit of oil like that so it's quite soft that's why when i place it down it happens to it touches a bit so that's what we will do i just want to ensure it is comfortable in here this so i'll cover this and let it stand for about 15 to 20 minutes so as you can see our oil is already heating so in the meantime i'll be rolling and cutting the mandazis into the shapes that i want before i fry them this is the dough it has been standing for about 20 minutes so i'll put a little bit of flour just like that then i spread the flour put my dough here then i roll it and i'm keen not to over roll it i don't want a small small size like the chapati size I want it to be a little bit thick. So you can comment and tell me how you love your mandazis. There are people who love their mandazis without flesh inside. Flesh is the dough that will be inside. There are those who love their mandazis with some dough inside. So I happen to fall on the category which loves their mandazis with dough inside. So this is the way I cut my mandazis into circles using this glove, just like this. So just like that. And the remaining dough, I'll again put it together. And uh, as I go on, I'll again roll it later. So it will stand and wait just here. So I can pinch, I'll pinch a little bit, just like this. And I'll use this to test, to see whether our oil is ready. So I'll just drop it in. I think our oil is not yet ready. So let's get back after like a minute and see how it will. So this is how our dough looks like. This was the very last one. It is not as neat as the other ones. 
but this is how it looks. I've tested our oil and it is ready and so I'm putting in our mandazis. We can move here to just show how it will be. So that's how So our pan is doing really well, judging by the way they are turning out, it's not a bad one. So I'm just waiting for them to brown on each side, well browned, golden brown on each side before I turn and uh, cook the other side. So as they brown I just turn. I hope they will agree to turn. Sometimes they are stubborn. Oh, that one is refusing. You see the way the color is coming out nicely? Yeah, this is the golden brown I love. So I'll hold on to this so that it is tuned. Yeah. This is the last one I'm turning. So they're beautifully becoming golden. So I give like three minutes maximum on each side when the oil is hot enough. Just to be sure that it has cooked through nicely because our dough is a little bit thick. So at this point, I'll remove our first lot. Then I'll continue and show you the end result. So our first lot is coming out of the oil. And as usual, when I'm cooking something oily, I like putting the kitchen napkins just like I've done so that uh, it absorbs the excess oil that comes from our food. So that is exactly what I'm doing right now. So I'll put in the second lot and stay tuned to see the end result of our mandazis. This is the outcome of our mandazis. This is the result, as you can see here. They are yummy. Let me just cut one of them so that you see the inside. And this is how I love my mandazis. You can comment and tell me, do you love it full like this? Or do you love it empty inside? I want to keep them nicely so that they soften up. So, thank you so much for clicking on this one. If you've not subscribed, kindly consider subscribing. Like this video. Comment something to just encourage me to do several other videos. Until next time, bye for now.